What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create your own preset using Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we get into that, I just want to say I appreciate everybody that's been um, subscribing to the channel recently. I think we a little over 700, but near a thousand, so that's very good. Um, I want to do a lot more for this channel coming in the near future. So for those that subscribe, I truly appreciate it. and. I hope you stay tuned for more videos, more tips, anything to help you guys. So here in Adobe Premiere Pro, um, let's say we have a sequence music video, um, whatever you're working on at the moment, and you want to apply a effect to that clip or on a transition, but you want to use it elsewhere too. So being able to create and save your preset helps. Um, I have done this many times. This helps me speed up my editing process. Instead of reconstructing the um, the effect over and over, I'll just simply drag and drop, which is a plus. Um, it can be anything simple as a zoom or a flicker and anything in particular that you just wanna apply quick. I think using this will help you. So depending on which effect you wanna use, for example here, I'm just using a quick um, zoom in, zoom out. And I'm going to show you just how to keyframe up everything and then save it where you can apply it to a different clip. That effect actually looked better than the original video. That actually looks good. Okay, so to save it, you just wanna click the three horizontal lines here. Then you wanna to go to save preset. You can name it whatever. Um, once you do that, it'll save below in the preset folder. And from the um, preset folder, you just wanna simply drag and drop it on any clip that you wanna apply this to. And that you have it. Um, it's a simple trick to learn, but it's really effective because a lot of time you would have to normally reconstruct each effect, but if you have them already saved as presets already, then you can just layer them, stack them, apply them repeatedly without ever having to take your time and redo it over and over. So it's a quick but effective tip to know, and I suggest that you save up um, your presets, your zooms, your um, flickers, those quick little stuff that take a tedious amount of time to, you know, to chop up and do. Once you save them, you can apply them over and over. Um, the same thing applies with color grading. You can also save your color grades, um, anything you, you've you done um, in the creative um, Lumetri color section. You should be able to save it as a preset and reapply it once again as a color lab. So these are effective tips and I hope this was able to help you um, in your editing session. But once again, just thank you again for taking your time to subscribe. Um, I started this channel from zero. So to have 700 on the way to have more is a, is a very proud feeling. You know, a lot of people doubted this whole thing me myself including so you know to see this pay off and, and happen like this is very is a touching feeling and I appreciate it because this is what I do daily uh, I don't work um, for anybody I work for myself so it's a, it's a nice accomplishment to have so I appreciate it um, you guys take care and see you in the next video